Hello, my friends. Our topic is Sea of Trouble. My friends, as trouble and torture in life is inevitable, so also escape and deliverance is inevitable in life. My brethren, is there any time your joy and hope are hindered because of somebody? Is there any time in your life, though you want to stay away from troubles, yet they followed and troubled you? Is there any time, though you tried your level best to control your pain and problems, still it pursued you in your life? People of Israel were trying to escape from slavery, from bitterness, from oppression, yet the sea of trouble was blocking them to move forward. Perhaps the sea of trouble may be a hindrance to you today or to your progress. Our meditation for today is taken from Zechariah chapter 10 verse 11. They will pass through the sea of trouble. The surging sea will be subdued and all the depths of the Nile will dry up. A serious pride will be brought down and Egypt's scepter will pass away. Four things that were troubling your life will be removed from your life today based on this text. Number one, sea of trouble will be subdued. When the Red Sea was blocking their deliverance, God divided and separated from them to pass through. My friends, even in your life, if the sea of trouble blocking your way of happiness and peace, God will subdue and separate it. Number two, Nile River will dry up. Nile River was used by Pharaoh to throw the male children, including Moses, to stop the plan of the Lord in order to deliver God's people out of bondage. Today, many suspicious things may stop you to be happy. Thank God, God will make the Nile River dry in your life. Number three, Assyria will be brought down. When you read 2 Kings 19.4, you can see the king of Assyria coming, accusing the people of God. Even you may be abused, discouraged. Your own people will criticize your faith and trust in God. God says he will preserve you from their accusation and abuse. Number four, the scepter of Egypt will depart. People of God in Egypt were controlled, tortured, treated cruelly, imposed their authority and power. Even in your life today, if anyone mistreat you, abuse you, disrespect you, devalue you, just remember God will deliver you and the scepter of Egypt will be eliminated from your life. Here is the prophecy for that. Zechariah chapter 10 verse 11. They will pass through the sea of trouble. The surging sea will be subdued and all the depths of the Nile will dry up. A serious pride will be brought down and Egypt's scepter will pass away. God bless you. Let's pray. Heavenly God, we thank you indeed for these four promises. And thank you, dear Lord, you are making a very nice way for us to move forward to be victorious. Continue to be with us, dear Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.